All right, today we had a classic case of, uh, you know, doing the whole video uh, with the camera not recording. So, geez, that was uh, something else. But I'll just kind of recap what I was talking about for the last 10 minutes. Um, pretty much, these are prospector rounds, as you can see. I like them quite a bit. There's a man with a pan and a donkey. And there's a saloon and a motel on the back, so I'm into that. Uh, if you guys don't know already, here are 10 silver ounces, one troy ounce each, purchased at spot. Uh, this is a Provident deal, Provident Metals. I'll put the description in, or I'll put the link in the description below if you haven't done this yourself. Um, I think you really should. Um, yeah, so let me just show you, I guess, it came in a tube, came in a package, came in a box which was in another box, which had some bubble wrap on it. So we're doing a reverse unboxing today. Um, yeah, uh, the reason the last video took so long, the one that you're, you didn't get the chance to see because I never actually recorded it, was um, me griping about Provident Metals. Uh, I, I think this is a fantastic deal. I think you should definitely take advantage of it. This is not one I've double dipped on because it's a relatively new deal. When I say relatively new, I mean like within the last year. Um, but I think it's awesome that they're jumping on board and they're trying to capture new customers with a deal like this. Uh, it's fantastic. And I, I did want to say also that I, I do really like Provident Metals. Um, I like their business plan. I like their model. I like that they're not trying to push so much fluff at you. Um, it's not like a modern coin mart where every other skew is a slab and it's not like a Atmex where uh, the prices sometimes can be a little bit inflated. I like Provident is somewhere in between. They have a little bit of the fluff and a little bit of the weight stacking. Um, I kind of compare it to Monument Metals, which is another place that has this 10 ounces of silver at spot deal. Um, but Monument Metals I like the most right now. Um, that's just because they're like a zero fluff. They're not trying to appeal to the collector at all. It kind of seems like they have good heavy bullion at a good fair price and they'll ship it really fast and i like that quite a lot about monument metals um why i dislike provident i suppose is because they randomly this on their website it says under under 750 dollars is a mandatory signature required great uh if you like that but randomly it will be a signature required even if you only order a hundred dollars or two and it's super annoying to me. I cannot stand a mandatory signature requirement. Um, I'm, I work postal hours, you know, I have a normal kind of business hour job. And my having my product float around the, the town, driving in a car, driving back and forth, trying to pick it up. Oh, you can't pick it up because it's still on the truck. Oh, they weren't able to deliver it. This is your third strike, yada, yada, yada. Um, we're gonna send it back to them, like all this hassle, and it's super annoying, and I will likely not buy from Provident again um, after this purchase, which kind of sucks. So if you're watching Provident, uh, know that that is a huge determinant to people. It might also be something that people really like though. Some people may love that you have a mandatory signature requirement, um, but there are people like me that find it infuriating <laughs> and they don't want to deal with that and I'll just buy from your competitor instead. Um, if it was like guaranteed signature requirement and I knew what I was signing up for, fine. Like that's great. I still might buy from you. But it's not. It's random. It's like, oh, this time we're going to make it a signature requirement. Whereas like I have a locked mailbox in a, with a security guard. Like, there's no reason for that. I don't know. Plus, they're spending money already on insurance on the package. So, you're spending money on the insurance. If you think I'm going to commit fraud, or if you think that someone's going to steal the package, that's why you paid for the insurance. Don't also hassle your customer to have to run around town, waste their time, waste their gas, stand in post office lines to go retrieve a package because they can't be here during a time when normal mailman comes. Um, anyways... That's my spiel. Um, anyways, this is a great value. I really do appreciate it, Provident. Um, I know that your goal is to pick up new customers. 
Um, you've picked up a new customer for one purchase, but I probably won't be buying again, uh, simply because of the shipping policy. And it seems harsh, but make it an option. You know, like it's not, make it an option. Save yourself some money and time and frustration. Um, anywho, this is a awesome deal. I recommend everybody go do it. I will put the link in the description below. If you don't mind a signature requirement, by all means, I think Provident is one of the best websites out there. So if you don't mind that, I would like to give them my recommendation. All right, take care, everybody.